because we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. What cycle? What are you talking about? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. A beacon? Yes, that makes sense. But the beacons were not programmed to interact with human physiology. I am surprised you were able to make any sense of it at all. It's just a bunch of random images, even after I got the cipher. The cipher? Some Asari mumbo-jumbo. Supposed to help the commander think like a Prothean. I don't know if it worked, though. The cipher altered my perception of the visions, but it's subtle. I still can't make sense of what I'm seeing. And this was something another Asari did to you? Hmm. Commander, with your permission, I would like to try something. You were touched by the beacon. The visions are locked away inside your mind. One of my people gave you a deeper understanding of the visions, but you still cannot put all the pieces of the puzzle together. I might be able to help you. What do you have in mind? Like the Asari who gave you the cipher, I can join my consciousness to yours. Maybe my knowledge of the Protheans will help clarify your vision. It's worth a shot. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I, I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What'd you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are missing. 
The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. What's our next move? Saren knew you were touched by the beacon on Eden Prime. He probably came after me because he feared I could help you understand it. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. Find the missing portion, and I am confident I can put all the pieces together. We've already got every other non-human species on board. Might as well add an Asari to the team. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Don't tell me how to do my job. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you.